Hello, this is Daron and I'm here to show you, to show you a quick walkthrough of the game Rumble in the Dungeon. It's uh, similar to another game called Rumble in, Rumble in the House, which works the same way and, can, and the both can be combined. This game goes over three rounds, which whomever has the highest score at the end obviously wins the game. This is the score track and you have a scoring marker for each player. The, the, the game I set it up to, to show you is for, uh, it's for three players, but it plays from three to six. It takes about 20 minutes and uh, it's suitable for the age of eight and up. Probably even younger than that. Uh, um, the rules are not that hard. So basically what's going on, there are 12 tiles that you set them uh, randomly. You build a, a, dun a dungeon with the simplest rule that the exit tile from the dungeon and the treasure tile are far far from from uh, each other and then you take 12 characters and you place each and you place each one on a tile then each player receive two secret tokens that each one is a character and this will be the this will determine uh, after each round um, which character will score for each player now basically the the idea of the game is whomever is left last in the uh, dungeon um, scores the highest uh, point with one exception um, and the way it works that when one character is out the first character is out there's another character that is going out and um, actually I'll explain the scoring mechanic in just a little bit so what the player does on his turn he has two things he can do either move a character any character to anywhere now this, uh, these tokens are secret so nobody knows exactly whose uh, who's character after each run you uh, replace you uh, exchange, uh, randomly pick up uh, two more tokens. Um, so you, on your turn you can either move once any character or in a room that there are two characters you can take one out, eliminate out of the game and you place them outside. Um, they basically had a fight and whomever you decided that, that lost the, the, uh, the attack, the fight, you take him out, they exit the dungeon and you place them like that. Now. The game just continues like that, it can keep on going, uh, another player moves this guy, then the other player goes move that guy. Now, the one thing that is important is the order that you place the characters that left the dungeon. Let me just show you another one, let's say this guy moves, another one goes here, here, uh, another one goes here, then one moves here. Now, the treasure. Uh, any any character that is in a room with the treasure can move to another room with the treasure. Even if there are more than one character, there's the, an ex exception that one character can always move if they're in the room with the treasure and they can move with the treasure. Now, once a character is out of the dungeon with the treasure, that character wins this specific round or adventure and they score the highest. But the game continues until there's one left character. I'll just take them out. Let's imagine that the scenario is like that. All right. So the one who's left in the dungeon scores the highest with the exception if there's a character with a treasure outside, that character gains 10 points. Then the character that is inside the dungeon scores nine. The character who's left last the dungeon basically that got exited out scores 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These two characters, if uh, anybody owned them, doesn't score anybody any points. So this guy, let's, uh, let's see if you have secret tokens now of players. We can see here. Alright, so this guy, he left second to last, so he gains nothing on that. Now this guy, he... He is this character, so 10, 9, 8, 7, he gains 7 points. Uh, this guy here, let's see, where is he? He's right there, so he gains 8 points for that character. There's another character here, that, where are you? This is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. He scores 3 for that. And this guy here... He's gone 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. He scores 4. And 
this score is one and that's it this run is over then all the characters are replaced onto the dungeon treasure goes uh, back there and the tiles are being placed back into supplies reshuffled and given to randomly ones to uh, the uh, players again now in the event that the last player last character in the dungeon that he remains with the treasure then he will score 10 and then again the same deal scoring if this guy is the last one he will score 9 8 etc so this is a really neat uh, um, short relatively short game um, it's a lot of fun in my opinion not a lot of thinking, there's bluffing, some level of bluffing in this game. Um, the fun in trying to determine whose characters, whose, um, make this game just uh, a an entertaining one. I hope you like this uh, uh, walkthrough. I appreciate if you like, subscribe, and remember that sharing is caring. Thank you.